All right. So now we're going to go into the bracket of the top eight uh, worker play or no, not worker placement this week. That, that was last week. Campaign, Campaign and games. legacy style games. And for you to find the games that we're talking about, don't go to campaign on BGG. Go mm -hmm. to, uh, what is it, family and then campaign. And yeah, that family. will lead you to our list because the campaign game was just mainly war games. Right, exactly. So what's going to happen is we are going to quickly talk about our honorable mentions. Some of the legacy games or campaign games that either fell short or didn't quite make it onto the list. Um I'll start off with uh, Machikoro Legacy. And one second, just to reiterate to people, um, we went and got these from BGG 1 oh, yeah. through 8, um, but also the caveat is is a game that we both played. This way we can make a debate yeah. about it. That's right. Yeah, so we went to Board Game Geek, put it by ranking, took the, the top 8 that you and I have both played, and uh, yeah, so that way we can have a reasonable... At, we played it at least once, or we... Mm -hmm. at least understand how it works so like uh gloomhaven for example when we talk about that i've only played it my copy once and but i feel mm -hmm. like i have a pretty good understanding from what uh everything else i've seen about it but uh yeah yeah my my first honorable mention is machikoro legacy it is a legacy game based on machikoro um it 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 was ranked pretty high it wasn't on i don't think it was it would have hit either of our top eights even if you had played it um, but it was a really fun experience. It doesn't take itself seriously, which is one thing I like about it. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive. And it does things that other legacy games do that I like, where every time you play it, it just adds more. Okay. <laughs> and it's a completely different uh, scenario other than the normal base Machi Koro. But you can have just as much fun if you like Machi Koro. You could jump back over to this and, and play this copy that you've built yourself. And it, it's been a very enjoyable experience. So Yeah, my, my only detractor with Machi Koro, um, one, my wife doesn't care for the, the original game, so it's uh -huh. not something I can play with her. And two, it's just that it's a four-player game, and it's hard for me to get a group that hasn't played it before Yeah, in a, in a four-player style. So Sure. Yeah, I... It, I think it can play. It might play up to five. I don't, I'm not. I don't remember. I, it's probably two to four. It says right there. Um, yeah, two to four. Um, yes. If because the, if she the, didn't the like original Machi game Koro, is two to four. Yeah. If she didn't like Machi Koro, the original one, she's probably not going to like the Legacy one. Might like it yeah, a little bit yeah. better, but I would say if she was like indifferent, it's like yeah, it's okay. I can take it or leave it. Then that might be worth going on to. But so anyway, what about you? Um, my uh, first one I'm going to talk about is Betrayal Legacy. Um, if you like Betrayal on the House on the Hill or that you have issues with it, I, I would have to say this Legacy game actually fixes some of those issues. Um, can be a little bit on the uh, chinky side, I guess you can say, the like the chitsy. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. I love the story it told in it. Um, you know, we played through this with our big group. Uh, we had a Four player game for a little bit and then we had added a fifth player another thing i really liked about it is that you could just add a fifth player and and it still works fine just certain things change that's about it right because it wasn't until and, like the fourth month that we added a fourth play a fifth player right yeah yeah i think it was like uh fourth or fifth play or it's like half the game was just yeah. one group and then when something big happened we were like, okay, if he's going to join us, we'll wait. And he jumped in, and that big thing happened, and it just – it and it it works well. It scales pretty well, too, and uh, we really, really enjoyed it. I forget who ended up winning that game. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to check out mine. I mean, it was last yeah. year. That was forever ago. Yeah, yeah. And, and what actually – puts it over the top for me too is that we actually finished the game yeah. right in during the week of Halloween. So it just made it a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah. That was that was I, I really did like that legacy game a lot. That was up there as far as one of my favorites now. Yeah, uh, great. exactly. Yeah, my my next honorable mention is Dragonfire. Um it is a campaign game, technically. Um it is a it is a deck builder. We played quite a few. Um now here's here's the reason why I don't think it's it's rated as well as it could be is it's a smart game it's a really interesting highly strategic deck building game 
but it is the exact same game every time. And and my my, my big uh, problem with it is that it changes nothing. Like yeah. it doesn't give you any carryover whatsoever as you go through. You get a little couple magic spells and stuff like that as you do well, but right and like the it, experience points. But it's a yeah. very minor thing, and so it doesn't do it. It if they implemented it with my next honorable mention, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, then it would be a brilliant game. But the fact that you and I. And, and our other two players played the same game, basically. It's like, oh, but now this time I get to draw an extra card because I I played four games that gave me enough experience points. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the campaign part of it. And the story wasn't that engrossing. It was just kind of like, oh, like, like which monster yeah, do we fight this time? I don't know if we ever finished it just because we decided to start Patrol Legacy and just haven't gone back to it. We played all but the, the last... We, we played the last scenario. We didn't beat the last scenario. That's right. Oh, and also, I just want to mention about Dragonfire. Kill the wizard first. <laughs> Every time. I, I always died. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Alright, what about yours? What's your next? Uh, my next one is, and I'm just going to add the fact, I haven't played the campaign yet, but I actually love the game itself, and I heard the campaign is really good, and that's the Grizzled, the Armistice Edition. Yeah, right up here. <laughs> I can't wait to get mine more to the table. Um, yeah, and so the Grizzle one takes a theme that's in World War um, One, uh, and it's just it's a tough game. It's dark because um, you're basically going through war. You're dealing with a lot of issues like uh, what are what are they called? Um, hard knocks. Hard knocks. Yeah. So you're dealing a lot with that, and um, I'm gonna pause it real quick. Yep. Would Betrayal work with two players? No, I don't think so. I think it's a minimum three, but it does go up to six. Yeah, and it's the, uh, uh, the big thing about it, too, is there's a lot of player interaction when certain things happen, mm -hmm. so it, it wouldn't do too well with um, uh, two players. Right. Yeah. Good question. Um, as for the Grizzled, uh, I love the game. You're basically getting, like, uh, trying to succeed on missions, but trying not to get these hard knocks, and I, I really want to dig into the campaign of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I want to dig into that one, too, a lot. It, it looks awesome. I mean, I, I bought it for a reason, and I haven't hardly dug through it. I think some of the card packs are still sealed, actually. So that's nice. pretty cool. Um, yeah, and my last honorable mention is Pathfinder the Adventure Card Game. Oh boy, did I play the mess out of this game. Um, we ended up, I think, we we played it as a two-player game through the third add-on pack, which there's uh, six okay. add-on packs, and each one yeah. adds three to five scenarios. So we, have, we successfully played through the base plus three add-on packs, 15... Uh, 18 scenarios that we've completed um, that wasn't just uh, that, that that didn't count the ones we lost <laughs> so we, we played it <laughs> at least like 36 times and I played the mess out of it and what's cool is when you go into a location you flip over the next card and if it's like a weapon or an item you can use you can try and do a skill check to try and acquire it and then that goes into your deck for the remainder of the game and then at the end of the the game you go through and you're only allowed to have certain ones so what i was saying about like dragon fire if it did that where you could keep stuff in between scenario to scenarios to scenario mm -hmm. that would yeah, be awesome exactly. and that's why i loved that game so much is because you would find like this awesome sword and you're like ah oh, my character would love this i'm gonna get it and then you'd acquire it and then you'd have that forever as long as you kept it in your deck and you start yeah. getting rid of the basic stuff the problem now, was I... it really was Sorry. just like every, every game would be four locations all right we need to find this guy once we find yeah. him he hides in one of the other three locations and that one closes off and you have to find him until you have one spot remaining him. and then you beat him yeah it but that was the game every time so there wasn't yeah. a storyline really so and that, that, that was my issue with it i mean i enjoyed it we, my, uh, me and the wife played uh, the mess out of it mm -hmm. um we had up to i think three adventure packs but another problem is is that yeah you have the base game and you could just play that but the box made it look so empty because it had space for those add-on packs yeah and so really it's good. like 
oh, well, okay, let's keep playing. So I buy another add-on pack and another add-on pack, and then you got to buy the adventure pack where you can get all the creatures. It was uh, it was uh, it was basically like uh, like those games that you play in video games where you're always constantly having to buy more stuff. This way, you can stay up to breath with it. Not not just DLC, but like the skin packs and the the new armor and weapons and stuff like that. It was basically pay to play for me. And I'm just like, you know right. what, after a while, it's just. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was totally worth it playing the base game. I had a lot of fun and I liked the add on packs. I got them for a pretty good deal, but yeah. if I hadn't, I probably would not have, never have delved into it, but yeah. yeah. And, the, and I understand they're trying to make money off of it, but those add on packs, they, they added what 30 cards to the thing mainly. But oh no, it's the... like 120 cards, but it was it's stupid yeah. expensive for each add on pack. 20 bucks. Yeah. Eh, some of them are 30. None that I bought. Yeah, no, some of them, like, I would look at them, there would be 30, so... Uh, oh. well, I got, Luckily, I got a lot of them, they were on clearance sales and stuff like that, so... Oh, okay, yeah, no... That... But I don't, I, I don't own it anymore, I really enjoyed it, but there's a game that we'll be talking about during the brackets that plays, uh, uh, that I enjoy much more than that. Yeah, that you've already replaced. Alright, what's your last one? My last one I want to mention is Hero Realms. Um... The campaign that they added on to it was really, really good. I enjoyed it. I played it with a buddy of mine, and we just tore through the campaign in, like, a day and a half. We yep. played, like, the first two scenarios that you can really do uh, on one day, and then the very next day he came back over and we just finished the game. It, it, he liked it so much that he went and bought it before he moved back up north for he could play it with his friends up there. And then, of course, they just recently had a Kickstarter for the second part of the campaign early, yep. late last year, early this year, somewhere around there. Yep. Yeah, they're already fulfilling right now. Um, distribution's up in the air, but they are fulfilling. I've seen a couple people get theirs already. Yeah, I, I, I did back it. There was other things going on at the time, but uh, I really do enjoy the campaign. And I'll pick it up when it co goes to retail and enjoy the mess out of it again. Um, cool. Yeah, you can come over and play mine when I get it. <laughs> All right, sounds I good. Back it. Awesome. So we're going to pause for a quick break to jump over into the other one. 